Hey everyone, I have something to say regarding myself and the future of this channel. I have gone through three different versions of the script, either going fully dramatic or a simple explanation. I didn't really know how to bring this or really what kind of decision I would want to make regarding this. Nevertheless, I have decided to make this video so I can explain my reasoning for my decision. I will keep it short. I am going to stop making videos and video essays for the time being. There are a few reasons for this, but they basically boil down to the following. 1. I don't really enjoy making videos anymore. I feel that I'm making videos for the sake of making videos and that is not the type of content I want to make or the way I want to make my content. Two. In all honesty, I am not mentally fit enough to talk and research the heavy subjects that are often discussed in our little sphere of the interwebs. This causes a great deal of mental stress and costs a lot of energy for me and I've noticed that it has reached a point where it's negatively impacting my real life. 3. I feel unhappy and unsatisfied with the work I do. I find my work shallow and low quality and I don't feel like I can improve this much as long as I live where I live now. And finally, 4. YouTube as a platform incentivizes a certain type of behavior that I cannot really condone or really want to be a part of. If you want to, you can stop watching here. I will explain these reasons more into detail, but that's basically the gist of it. I'm putting everything on hold and will stop making videos for now. Maybe I will start making videos again one day in the future, but for now I am going to quit. I thank you all for your time and I wish you all the best. Alright, is everyone else gone? Good. Time to elaborate. No, I want to make one thing very clear. This is not a late April Fool's joke. I am actually taking a break for the foreseeable future. However, I don't want to make it too dramatic. One of the scripts I wrote was a dramatic sketch where I would basically cross-examine myself, but honestly, that would be an arrogant thing for me to do, so here's an explanation. These last few months, I have struggled to really make any kind of content. I had to force myself to make the stuff, and I have been feeling very lethargic for quite some time now. I was also constantly beating myself over my head mentally because I felt that I needed to produce stuff to be valid in our community. It was during the look one reception of my last video essay, the work safety one, that it hit me. I was producing videos not because I really liked making them, but because I was putting an arbitrary standard on myself an imaginary need to produce content to satisfy some illusionary deadline. This is not the way I want to create content. I began making videos out of a desire to express myself and a way of giving myself something to do while I was locked up. This desire to create videos purely for the sake of making videos is a desire of my own design and it's something that I should nip in the bud before it ruins part of my life, simple as. Which brings us to my mental health. Without getting overly dramatic, I have not been feeling great for some time now. Most of this is related to the fact that I have been isolated from my real life social circles for over a year now and I'm fairly certain that most people who will watch this can relate to this. I am constantly tired, pessimistic and I have constant headaches and a lack of willpower to really do anything. This lack of mental flexibility that I'm experiencing right now has also made it a lot harder for me to deal with the pressures that come with researching subjects that are extremely negative and a harsh reality of the way our society works. Like the way capitalism fucks over disabled people for example. As a result, this has grounded down my patience and tolerances to almost zero, as some people I talk to in Discord can attest to. I am constantly angry, cranky and quite frankly not a pleasant person to be around. This has gotten to the point that I'm receiving comments on it from my mother and from other people in my life. This is not how I want to live my life. 
video creation, specifically the research part, has, has had a predominantly negative impact in this regard, and this is something that I want to stop. There are also practical reasons to consider. I often ran into the issue that I want to do something for a video, like a sketch, and then I could not do it because I lacked the physical space, help or materials to do so. I live in a very small studio, and this has limited me in this regard regarding sketches I want to do. I did attempt to mitigate this by making things digi digitally, like 3D modeling or vector art. But honestly, my skills are too underdeveloped to really make that work. As a result, I have now several unfinished scripts for videos that I cannot do because of this, only compounding my frustration that I mentioned earlier. Finally, there is also the aspect of YouTube itself. I know that this was happening, but I not, did not really let it shine through me till I watched James Stephanie Sterling's video on the subject, link in the description. The thing is, YouTube is a very bad platform for unleashing creativity. Its algorithm is a black box that not even the creators know how it works and it has a tendency to incentivize certain content and certain people. YouTube wants you to release short videos as much as possible and wants you to look good doing it. It has a draconian copyright system that punishes you if you slip up even once and a DMCA system that has a long history of abuse by bad faith actors. Any criticism YouTube and Google get from their own user base is either ignored or shrugged off and they have shown themselves on many occasions to be susceptible to manipulation by corporate interests. Hence why left-wing and LGBTQ plus content gets removed constantly, but it takes a huge public outcry to remove a far-right propagandist like Steven Crowder, who then proceeds to come back a few weeks later. There is also the parasocial aspect. While I was not expecting to get big, I cannot shake the feeling that much of my urge to release new content regardless of the cost was because YouTube indirectly forces you to do so. If you release videos frequently, number goes up, and number goes up makes a brain happy. YouTube wants you to build a close relationship with your audience, and while I can get that to a certain extent, I am also aware that there's only so much one person can interact with before it starts negatively impacting their mental health. Several of the larger content creators I know often keep a certain distance from their fan base, and judging from their stories and my own experiences, I really get why. Social media in general is something I have very mixed feelings about, and often I feel that's more of a hassle, hassle than it is worth. So yeah, that's basically it. That is why I'm putting everything on hold and taking a break. So, what does this mean for the future? At the moment of writing, I have no desire to really go back to making video essays. Instead, I want to focus more on improving my creative skills regarding art, vector editing, pixel art and 3D modeling. However, to do that properly, I first need to improve my mental health so I don't feel so lethargic constantly. So that's a first. How long this will take? Only time can tell. In the meantime, I will not begrudge anyone if you were to unsubscribe for me for this. People come to my channel to watch me be angry at capitalism and explain autism, so if I cannot deliver this, then there are obviously consequences to that. Either way, I want to thank you all for sticking with me, and I wish you all the best. Goodbye.